Hey, Trump reporters, this is Black Boot coming at you from a bunker. Look, I've been doing a lot of thinking up there in my brain bucket, okay? Hey, that's why I've got my helmet on, y'all, to keep them Democrat space lasers from reading my mind, all right? Oh, man, I shouldn't be telling y'all all this, but I feel like the message needs to get... I know we're all thinking the same thing, y'all. It just don't add up. I know we're thinking the same thing them Democrats are thinking, that the math ain't mathing, y'all. And we don't want to speak out against about it because, I mean, our guy won. You know what I mean? We don't really want to say nothing, but if you think about it, ain't none of it makes no sense, y'all. <sighs> Shoot. Hey, man, this is so scary doing this, y'all. Um, when you think about it, y'all, hey, Donald Trump was a desperate man. He was a caged animal. I mean, all the criming that he did after he got evicted from the White House, y'all. Remember that? <sighs> tried to pull off a coup, y'all. I know we don't like saying it, but he did. He tried to pull off a coup, y'all, and he got charged with that. That's what that Jack Smith was after him about with that January 6th stuff. And, and then he stole a bunch of classified documents, and that case was coming back, too. The man knew he was going to spend the rest of his life in prison, y'all. He's an old man. There wasn't no way he wasn't going to spend the rest of his life in prison. Oh, man, this is scary, y'all. Um, listen, um, he was desperate, you know. He had to run for president again. That's the only way he could he could get those crimes dropped against him, and he wouldn't spend the rest of his life in prison. So if he didn't run for president, guess what was going to happen to him? He was going to spend the rest of his life in prison, you know. So when he ran for president, well, he would be a fool if he didn't try to cheat, you know? He'd be a fool if he didn't try to cheat, because guess what's going to happen if he gets caught cheating? He's going to spend the rest of his life in prison. That's right. So the same thing would happen to him if he got caught cheating as if he didn't run at all or if he lost. So he would be a fool not to try to cheat, y'all. You see what I'm saying? So how do you do that, y'all? And this is the part I shouldn't be telling y'all. Um, you know how I would do it? I'd surround myself with a bunch of right-wing billionaires, Christian nationalists, that are also desperate to get power. But they know they can't gain no power through the electric because nobody wants to put up with that crap. You know what I mean? So they attach themselves to him. They hitch their, they hitch themselves to him, a desperate man, you know? And then you know what I'd do? I'd go find me like some tech bros and stuff, some fascist tech bros. I'd go find some of them. Like I would find like the, the richest man in the world. I'd find somebody that like owns like a, a self-driving electric car companies or even owns his own, his own, uh, uh, a space program or something like that. And, uh, and then I, th this dude, like this dude, then I'd put him out on the stage there, like at the, at the convention, and I'd have him wear a black hat on his head and say, I'm Dark Maga. You know, and hoping that people didn't look up what black hat means. Um, and, uh, but hey, he messed up along the way, y'all. He goes out there and telling people, I don't need your vote. I don't need your vote. I got plenty of votes. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Man. Uh, you hear what I'm telling you. You know you hear what I'm telling you. And, um, and then, uh, then we know that Russia helped him the whole time, flooding the interwebs with all that propaganda and misinformation and stuff like that helped him. Well, then, after the election, everybody starts noticing, thousands and thousands of people start noticing that their votes didn't count, y'all, in swing states all over the country, y'all. Votes didn't count, y'all. People are starting to notice it. And, um... And then Russia gets out there on the, on the interwebs, does an interview and says that, uh, that they, uh, that they helped Trump get elected and that he owes them now for doing that, y'all. So anyway, and even that, that billionaire, the world's richest man that would help him, you know, he's even on video saying that if, that if, uh, uh that if Trump don't win, he's going to go to prison, that he's going to go to prison. So there's just all kind of stuff adding up out there looking. I'm just a big old dummy, you know what I mean? And if I can figure this stuff out, I guarantee you the feds have already figured it out a long time ago. I guess it's just a wait and see game at this point, right? Patriots, inmate Trump.